since I've had a classical guitar on this channel and that's not by design that's just because they they've just been hard to come across recently as you probably know there's a little bit of um, interruption with the normal normative flow of um, supply in some areas in the music industry and one thing that I found more scarce in recent days is, is uh, good quality classical guitars so I managed to get hold of this really nice cedar top AC65 from Alvarez and I don't think I've done a review of this exact model although we've had a few Alvarez on this channel so I thought to include it um, I'll give you a close-up really nice solid red western cedar on the top which as you know I'm a fan of really nice quality mahogany on the back and ribs, rosewood fretboard, mahogany neck, and uh, rosewood faced headstock with the well known Alvarez design on it. Uh, this says handcrafted. These aren't cheap, these are up in the $500 range. Uh, so if you can get hold of one of these for somewhere around $400, you're doing well and um, that's because it has a solid cedar top those tend to be a bit more expensive bone nut and saddle all rosewood bound so it's all wood binding uh, really nice spanish style heel on that and um, yeah just a really nice guitar there are the tuners on it typical um, geared tuners with the brass gears and black capped keys, anti-rust keys on there. Really nice. Uh, um, looks like walnut binding on the fretboard as well. It's just a really nice classical guitar. And the thing about these cedar guitars, as, as I've told you before, is they tend to warm up over time, in my opinion. snap to it. Uh, it sounds good with nails, it sounds good with flesh. I'm not a classical purist, I tend to combine the sounds. Um, not much more to say about it. Alvarez has just uh, always been a class act in all areas of guitar, particularly with uh, classical and acoustic uh, solid top models. Now the back and sides aren't solid on this. If they were, it would probably could be closer to a thousand um, dollars. But that's not to take away from the the sound. Um, you know, sometimes these solid tops with laminate back and sides can give you a lot of guitar for your money. Um, so yeah, it's that cedar top that's giving you a lot of the the resonance in the sound here. It's bright at the moment. I do think it'll warm up. But of course you need a bit of brightness with classical guitar, you need some articulation. Um, you can't have muddiness. Um, so, yeah, so if you're hearing that nice bright tone, that's what you want. Anyway, um, yeah, so something to put on your radar for anyone looking for a good quality classical guitar. And you might find one of these used in the 350 range. So it puts it with the sort of um, Cordoba C5s, 
some of the Cremona, the S65, I think. This is right in that range. We've had a couple of Takaminis in this range as well. Um, yeah, it's good quality cedar top. Oh, and by the way, the, um, the rosette on this is not a decal. It's actually inlaid. <clears throat> so that's what you get with a slightly nicer guitar as well. Sometimes the, the decal stickers can look fairly cheap. And, and, and you can kind of see with your naked eye that the craftsmanship is really not quite there. But with this, there's no problems with that at all. Uh, typical Thai bar bridge, classical style bridge, um, bow nut and saddle, as I said. Yeah, this is a nice guitar. Unfortunately, it does not come with a case, which is a bit annoying. Um, but you know, there's plenty of classical guitar case and bag options. Um, so you'll have to order one extra if you get something like this. Uh, something this nice, I would I would think a really good padded bag or a hard case would be uh, worth the extra investment. If you're going to spend four or five hundred dollars on a guitar, uh, I think you know spending a hundred dollars on a case is probably worthwhile. Um, but anyway, thought I'd show it to you while it's here. Uh, very fun to play. Um, really nicely made guitar. Very handsome. Sounds good. Sounds better each time I play it. Alright folks, see you on the next one.